What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 7, Sneak Peek, Preview, and Predictions. Spoiler warning if you don't want to know about the Season 7, Episode 7 news, information, potential spoilers, things that are likely to occur in the episode, stop watching now. Spoilers are coming. Season 7, Episode 7 is titled Sing Me a Song. Synopsis for Episode 7, a deeper look at the sanctuary and the world of the saviors. Members of Alexandria look for supplies. It's rumored to be 90 minutes long, which is awesome because I love the 90 minute episodes. Sing Me a Song. For those who know the comic, you know what they're talking about. Sing Me a Song. Carl, Negan, we're going to get the Carl and Negan storyline. It's going to be great. Look forward to this episode very much. Now in the sneak peek that's online, you see Jesus talking to Carl in the truck. And I got some you know, stills of that. We'll talk about that in a second. But looks like they're going to the sanctuary. So that storyline is going to take place. It's highly likely that it will. But it's going to be a little different because Negan is not in the truck. Negan is still at the sanctuary. Jesus looks to be bailed out. We'll talk about that in the rest of the video and some pictures, but Negan is talking to his people, the saviors. We are the saviors. We are the people that are going to take over. We are what's left of the world. We are this to save the world, basically. Negan is talking to his people, looking down on them. They're looking up as he's the dictator, the god, the false god. We can't wait for him to fall. It's just not going to be now. In another sneak peek, you see Michonne walking down this trail. As you can see, there is trail of liquid. Is it gasoline? Is it something? But it looks to be a breadcrumb trail, basically, for Michonne that she is walking along and following the trail in a carefree manner. She's whistling a song, going down the path. When she's got a bag in her katana, and it's kind of, you know, old Michonne style. She's walking down with her katana. These two walkers come out of the woods. She's not really worried about it at all. She's following the trail for some reason. Some truck, one of the trucks that she's going after. Can't wait to see what it's about. She takes out the walkers, no problem. It's kind of like old Michonne. Doesn't have a care in the world. She could take these things out, no problem. She's going after something or someone for some reason. So is it leading her to some path or to the sanctuary or something? I don't really know, but I can't wait to see. And it's kind of a cool little sneak peek. Doesn't give much away, but she is following a trail for some reason. Then we get Rick with his hatchet, his ax, with Aaron s sleeping in the truck, which has got to be terrible. It's got to be so hot in that thing. They wake up, got to be pretty uncomfortable. They go out scavenging. Aaron and Rick and can't wait to see what's going on with it because they jump over the railing while they're looking for supplies. They see the sign that goes out that's in front of it telling them to stop because there's nothing there but trouble. So we'll see what's up with that. I can't wait to see what it's all about. Does it lead us to another group? Does it lead us to a supply? Do they find a bunch of guns? Do they find anything useful that they better not give to Negan? They better use this. Keep going. Only thing here for you is trouble. So what does that mean? Can't wait to find out. Of course, they're out scavenging and we'll see what it goes. Trouble. That's the photo from the promo photos by AMC and The Walking Dead before the season started so we get to see that part but the big thing would be Carl, Negan, and Jesus. Chandler Riggs is going to be the talk on The Talking Dead next week. He's not going to die. Don't worry, he'll be around. But in the other sneak peek, Jesus is talking to Carl. The truck is going around. It's actually really good information about Jesus where he's going to really track where the sanctuary is and that's really going to come in handy down the road probably to help Daryl escape, maybe, possibly, hopefully, in season seven, episode eight. He sees this statue that's gotta be a focal point where something is, that he knows where that statue is. He has to remember that, because he's, ta he's tailing this to take back in a reconnaissance mission. Carl's there to assassinate Negan or take out Negan, which isn't gonna happen. Jesus is there to find where the sanctuary is and where Negan is. The statue of that it's got to be a big point where he knows that for a reference point. He talks to Carl to say, we're going to bail out. But I don't think Carl's going to bail out. I think Jesus is going to do it by himself because the car was going slow enough. And he talks to Carl that you can do it. It's slow. Don't worry about it. He jumps out. And it's a pretty good sequence. It's in the it's in the 30 second trailer for episode 7. And it's a good little sequence here by the stuntman. I doubt Tom Payne did this. 
but he goes down and tumbles really fast, and it's a really good stunt that hopefully shows that Jesus is tailing them, and Carl stays in the truck. We just don't know what happens to Carl because it stops, but I would think that Carl stays in the truck and ends up going all the way to the sanctuary. Jesus looks for it, and we'll see what happens with that, but I don't know if Jesus continues on and helps out and does whatever, and but I think it's going to be good. It should be good for us. Negan addresses his sanctuary people, his saviors. You know, that's what it is. And he's, he's the same thing from before. He's talking to his people. And it's kind of like he is the dictator. He is their, the people say, godlike to him, which is terrible. I wouldn't want to be around a dictator like that to force you down to him, to kneel and to look upon him like he is your dictator and it's his way or the highway or whatever. But that's the savior way and it's kind of crazy for it. And Negan is still there. He is popular. People like him. I personally don't like Negan that much. He hasn't done anything on the show for us to like him. You know, come on. Daryl, they showed us the clip from before. Paul Dan's and Daryl, he's ready to escape. Probably in episode eight, he gets out. He looks over at Dwight. That's the direction they show there. Maybe it's the misdirection or whatever. Dwight's looking down. Maybe during the address that Negan is talking to him. I just don't know. He's there looking down, pissed. You can see that the white is still not right with Negan, and hopefully it comes around. Sherry, his wife, is in episode seven, so we'll see what happens there. Rosita and Eugene has to be something with them going to the bullet factory or whatever, I would think. We'll see how it goes down, but eventually they got to make bullets, right? Spencer walks out to the gate. I just don't know what he's doing. Do the saviors come back? We'll see how it goes down, but Eugene and Rosita are walking to the front gate to go out to make a run, hopefully to make bullets or go back to the bullet factory to get it rolling. We'll see what happens if the saviors come back to Alexandria. I believe this is the guy that gave Negan the camera that Rick was on in Deanna's office. Don't know what's happening here. Is he taking one more thing for Spencer or whatever? But we'll see how it goes down in Season 7, Episode 7. Can't wait. That's the sneak peek in the preview we got. Daryl with some new haircuts. What do you like? Man bun, dreads, crazy, or bald? Let us know what you think, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe to get more videos. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching.